Ryan Reich with Tektronix. I'm the general manager of the Performance Oscilloscope product line, and here to introduce today the latest addition to our uh, portfolio, the uh, Bertscope products. And we got this by way of acquisition. We acquired a company called Synthesis Research earlier this year, uh, and Synthesis is the maker of the Bertscope. Uh, the Bertscope is a bit air rate tester, it's really focused at receiver testing for high speed serial applications. And I'll hand it over to Aaron Spitz Peltzer to give us a demo. That's my um, application here from Cologne. So I'm showing you now the uh, instrument. We have two parts on BitArray uh, ray tester. One is the generator, one is the receiver. The generator, you see the block diagram of the generator right now. Um, you, you can set up different data rates in this instrument up to 12.5 gigabit, but also available prior data rates like 26 gigabit. Um, in this case, I'm transmitting a signal through a test device and receiving on the other side. On the top, we have the clock recovery, so we do the same like receiver will do. We will see the signal recovered and get the clock and data separated, so it would synchronize the detector. And if I go to the detector setup, you can see this is the detector, and the detector will show you the error. It counts the error, like a bit error rate tester. But this, what you can do is much more than this. You can also do an analysis of, of a signal, like a receiver test would require a stressed eye. You would put a jitter onto the signal to see what uh, the receiver tolerance will be. And in this case, we can add, you see in the block diagram, different type of jitters, like sine wave jitter, random jitter, bounded jitter. And it depends on the standard what type of jitter you, and how, the amount of jitter you have to add to get the results. And the, the system will do an automatic test to see the tolerance. Or it can just do an analysis of the jitter. It can do a jitter analysis of a, of a transmitter by decomposing it into the components. It takes some time because jitter is also statistic stuff, so it takes some time to do the analysis. You see the total jitter is already defined. It will re recover the subcomponents like random jitter, deterministic jitter. Uh, then the bounded, uh, uncorrelated jitter, and the data dependent jitter. Why is that done? That's just to do reproduce the measurements, uh, to get reliable measurements. You use components like random and deterministic jitter, but also get the help to, def to understand what is the source of my jitter. So that's very helpful. Or well, you can even use it like an oscilloscope. You can go to the physical layer test and do an eye diagram test. In this case, we'll do an eye diagram of the, of the test device we have. So the same is true for the bit error rate uh, contour. And so that's, that's what the scope is. Okay, thank you.